place where we can go, where it's always shining like the snow. Listen to your heartbeat, don't you know that I just wanna be with you, baby. There is a place where we can go. I just wanted to start this vlog because I don't have much time to start it after I get dressed and I think I'm going to do an outfit of the week this week anyway so I won't be showing you my outfit. Today's Monday. I woke up pretty late today. I just kept sleeping but I also didn't fall asleep until like 12 o'clock so that had something to do with it and then I jumped out of bed and got ready. Just the usual hair. I did some eyeshadow today because my eyes looked really tired, so I felt like eyeshadow might help me. And I'm about to get dressed and run out the door. It's super windy today. Like, we have a wind advisory, a storm advisory, blah, blah, blah. So, I don't really know how that's going to direct dri affect driving conditions. So, hopefully, there's not much traffic, but oh, I have to get gas. Damn it. Oh my god, I really have to go then. I forgot I had to get gas. But I went shopping yesterday and I wanted to include a little haul because I already put all the stuff away. So I filmed it yesterday when I got home. So here's my haul from yesterday. First is this jacket, which is actually from the Target men's section. And it was on sale for $17. And I think it's really cute. I see jackets like this all the time on or at online boutiques and they're usually like $60 but this was $17 and I think it's like a men's work jacket but it's really cute and just very trendy so I would never want to spend more than like $20 honestly on something that's not going to be in style for a while and this is just good for spring or when it's only like 40 degrees out and from Victoria's Secret they had their everyday or ultimate sports bra whatever on sale for $10 so I got two of these because you guys know I've been working out a lot more and I really only have two sports bras that fit. That Lululemon one and then another random one. So I got two sports bras for $10 or $20 and I had a gift card from Christmas so it was perfect. Then from Payless, they're going out of business so everything is 20% off. So I got these sneakers which are just cute when I'm just wearing leggings and I don't have anything else to wear. These are really cute. And they were like 30 I think. And then these were like $20-ish. 20, $20 and these are perfect for work. You guys know I need new work shoes really bad. And these are really comfortable. And they're nice low heel. So they'll go with pretty much all my outfits now. So I don't have to wear my really uncomfortable shoes all the time. <laughs> and then everything else is from H&M. So the first thing is this t-shirt that says Donut Worry. And it has little... um like sequins sewn into it and I thought this was just really cute I'm kind of a sucker for anything with like this little pocket detail so that was ten dollars and then everything else is pants so I got a pair of black slim fit pull on slacks because these look really comfortable and they are I think yeah they're kind of like skinny so I could wear boots or heels with this and then I got the same style but in this gingham pattern. So these were a little bit more expensive. I don't know that they'll fit because I got an 8 but I could also be a size 6. H&M sizing is very strange but these were just really trendy. And I thought with a black blazer, especially for my summer job, I could wear this. Maybe not right now but definitely in summer I could wear this. And then I got these slim fit regular slacks. <laughs> that are like a gray and white heathered print and these are just really traditional slacks they don't really have much stretch to them so I got a size 8 but they do look I don't know maybe they'll fit maybe they won't but they look kind of big 
but depending on H&M's like the rise of the pants you really need to adjust your size so if these were high waisted I would definitely get a six but I think they're like mid-rise, so an eight should be good. So I got three pairs of pants, because you guys know I kind of cycle through the same pants. And now I have some options, and now I have another pair of shoes for work. Okay, and that was everything I got. So I'm probably going to wear a lot of those new pieces today. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go now. I can't believe I have to get gas. And I'll see you later. I truly do not know what time it is, because I'm just running around like a crazy person. Getting ready. What time is it? Oh my god, it's so late. Okay, I'm ready to go. Oh my god, I can't believe how late it is. I'm not showing you my outfit because it's going to be an outfit of the week, but I am wearing my sneakers that I got from Payless because I do not want to walk like three or four blocks in my heels because it just sounds uncomfortable already. So I'm wearing my nice comfy sneakers. Anyways, I need to go. Fifteen. I had dinner which was just pasta that my dad made so I had dinner and now I'm just kind of on the computer answering some work emails <clears throat> and YouTube stuff I got a really exciting package in the mail today which I'm very happy to have received because you guys noticed that I've been wearing the same glasses in all my videos. I need to get an updated prescription. It's been a year. You have to get your eyes checked every year. So I have to go get an updated prescription. So I got my Warby Parker package in the mail today and my at-home try-on kit, which I'll talk about more tomorrow when I um, try them on for you guys. And you can help me decide like you always do. I get new glasses at least once a year because my eyes are very, very bad. That's pretty much all I've been doing. So I'm probably just going to hang out in bed for the rest of the night. I put everything in my backpack. I don't have any food to eat tomorrow. It's just going to be like a shit show. So it'll be interesting to see what food I buy at school because I'm obviously going to have to eat. But yeah, I'm just going to end the vlog here for tonight because I can't imagine doing anything else. And I'll see you tomorrow.
wearing. I'm pretty sure this is what I'm gonna wear. I don't know. Whatever. Doing it after the week, so you won't see it anyways, but I wanted to show you before I go my Warby Parker um, package that I got yesterday because I want to return it in the mail because again I know I will not have time the rest of the week to do this so I've done videos with Warby Parker in the past and as you guys know I pretty much wear my Warby Parker glasses in every single video because I'm always wearing glasses and they're the only glasses I will buy you can get a free at-home try-on kit everyone can get it you go to their website and you choose five different pairs of glasses you want to try on and then you order this and it's free you have it for five days and you have no obligation to buy any of these so at the end of the five days you send them all back and you don't get charged anything it's free shipping both ways so these are the first pair these are the felix glasses which are the ones that i wear pretty much every day right now but these are in the tortoise color so they're darker they're like a dark brown these are the durand in rose water and i love these you guys know i've been wanting a pair of clear glasses but i haven't been able to find the right shape and I love these. These are also the Durand but these are in the tortoise color. I love these too. These are the Hues in Chestnut Crystal. Now these are a little bit thinner than I'd usually do but I kind of really like them. And these are the Percy Wide in Striped Sassafras. What a name. I definitely don't like these because they curve downwards and I don't like when glasses do that. So leave a comment down below of which glasses you like best because I kind of like all of them and I don't know which one to choose. I think the ones I like the most are these clear ones, but let me know down below. And each of these glasses, when you buy them, if you choose to buy a pair, they are $95 including the prescription lens. So that's a really, really great deal. A lot of the times you'll go to like a regular traditional glasses store and spend upwards of like... $250 which is kind of insane so like we're just trying to see people we're just trying to see the world as those who don't need glasses and why do we have to pay like sometimes $500 just to see that's like not right in my mind and what's even better about Warby Parker in general is for every pair of glasses that is purchased they donate a pair of glasses to someone in need and there's so many people in the world as you could imagine who need glasses and can't access them for whatever reason and they're just walking around not being able to see like I can't imagine how that would feel what I really like about Warby Parker is that you can order the glasses and try them on before you buy them so you don't just have to guess online what you think will look good on you because a lot of the times like you'll think something will look fine but then the frames are huge or they're too small or like those last ones they're turned down and that doesn't look good on my face shape so I really like that you can try them on Figure out what you like, return it, you don't have to buy anything, and then you can figure out afterwards which ones you liked best. So if you guys want to try your own at-home try-on kit, five pairs of glasses with no obligation to buy, you can just either click the link in the bio or go to... Click the link in the bio. Where are we on Instagram now? You can click my link in the description box, warbyparker.com slash lipsticks and lattes. It'll also be on the screen. They have a new app that you can download from the app store on iTunes. And they will build your at-home try-on kit. So if you're looking for glasses, women's, you can go through and like this. And you can see them. It's just like the website, but it's even easier because it's on your phone. And you can take pictures of yourself and then try the glasses on. So you could see from the screen of your picture with yourself with the glasses. Did that make any sense how I just explained it? I don't know. Like you can take a picture and put the glasses on your picture. There we go. But if you have an iPhone X, you can use the find your fit feature, which uses the true depth camera on the iPhone X. This is a six, so I can't show you, but it uses the true depth feature on the iPhone X that will... You just hold it in front of your face and it will put the glasses on you. And it will recommend 12 pairs of glasses that it thinks will look best on you. And then again, you could do the at-home try-on. It's not like you have to buy one of those pairs that the phone has decided will fit you best. You can still do the at-home try-on. So if you guys want to try out Warby Parker, again, you can go to warbyparker.com slash lipsticks and lattes and get your free at-home try-on kit. So if and you guys know I like to keep my glasses funky fresh, wear a new pair pretty often because I wear them every day. So it's kind of like part of my outfit. So I like that I can have different pairs and not have to spend $200 on a pair of glasses. I can pay $95 and have a few different pairs to cycle through. Now I need to package that up and return that. It's 10.07 so I need to leave uh, right now. 
And that's the tea, sis. So I'm going to finish getting ready. I think this is going to be my outfit because I just don't feel like changing. I'm probably going to sweat today, but that's fine. But that's it. So I'm going to finish getting ready and head out to class. So I never even told you guys about what my day is going to be today. I have evidence. I haven't gone to an evidence class in over two weeks because like two weeks ago on that Thursday, I had interviews and then the next Tuesday we had a snow day and then we had to cancel and then we had a week off. So I haven't been in evidence in like two and a half weeks. So that's that. And then I have my little break, which I don't know. I'll probably like do whatever Liana's doing. If Liana's going home, because she usually will go home in between classes, I'll probably go with her because I don't honestly feel like doing anything today, like homework wise. And the only homework I would have to do is evidence for Thursday, which I don't really, I like, I don't feel like doing it. Honestly, I barely even did the evidence homework for today. So many of you guys ask me, like, how do you stay motivated and, like, focused? I'm not motivated and focused all the time. Some weeks I'm just like, I don't care. And I'll figure this out when I have to study for the test. And that's fine as long as you don't do it forever. So it's totally fine to be unmotivated for a while. You just eventually have to get back to it. Like, don't take two weeks off from studying or doing homework. Like, you're allowed to take a few days off, but don't get in the habit of not doing any work. So I guess that could be my topic of the vlog. You know, like I'm unmotivated a lot, but I allow myself to be unmotivated for a few days and then I get back to it. So I wasn't motivated like Sunday, yesterday I was at work all day, and then today I'm just kind of like not feeling it, so whatever. And then I have trial ad, and today I'm doing a cross-examination of a police officer. So that will be fun. I enjoy direct and crossing you know, witnesses and defendants, I suppose, if they choose to take the stand. I do like to do that kind of stuff because it's not as much of like a speech as like when we did our opening statements, I was kind of nervous because that's a speech. And like, sometimes when I lose my place in my speech, I kind of forget entirely what I'm doing, but a direct and cross, they're more of a conversation. And like, if you forget what the next thing you were going to say is, like you can skip ahead and then be like, oh, and circling back like to this blah 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 blah. it doesn't need to be like as chronological if that's what you were going for so that's what i'm doing and then we have class after that for an hour until seven and then i'll be coming home and getting ready for work tomorrow but that's it i'm on my way i got duncan because i realized i had money on my card which was great so now i'm just drinking my cold brew and going to class so i will talk to you guys later Hey guys, it is a little before 7. Well, it's probably like 6.40, but my car clock is wrong. But I'm leaving school. Our professor let us out early. Thank God. What an angel. I'm going home. I need to take a shower. And I need to pick out my outfit and whatever for tomorrow because I have work. And then I have class after that. So I need to pick out my outfit get all my stuff ready for our work the next day. I think tomorrow, well, I'm definitely not gonna vlog tomorrow because I'm not gonna get home until nine o'clock at night, but tomorrow at work, I'm just going to observe a trial, I think. So it'll be more of a laid back day, which is good because I'm very tired. Okay, I got home. I had a nice healthy dinner of chicken fingers and french fries and even a few onion rings. So it was really healthy. I had no vegetables today. It was a really good day. <laughs> Literally, I didn't have one vegetable. While my exercise has totally like made a 180 this year, I've like actually been really loving to work out. I almost look forward to it. I'm not gonna say like I always look forward to it, but I really do enjoy working out at least Tuesday, Thursday, Fridays are like my definites. And I didn't really work out much last week, but I was PMSing and like, whatever. But I do enjoy working out now, which is great. I really need to work my diet because I eat healthy about 25% of the time and the rest of the time it's like processed food. But I'm making progress, right? And that's what matters. And I drink a lot of water, so I feel like that solves a lot of problems. But I just ate that. I didn't even mean to eat all of it, but it just happened. 
Luckily, I can't really eat the chicken fingers because my teeth are still very, very sensitive. So it's kind of hard to eat that because it's really crispy. But it's 7.30. I'm about to take a shower, put on my pajamas. I already packed up my work bag. I just like threw all my shit in there. I'm like, I don't even care. I don't even care. That was easy. I'm going to wear a white loose button down, gray slacks. I'm going to wear my sneakers as I'm walking to work. It's kind of gotten easier to pick out outfits now that I have more than one pair of pants. I really am so tired. Like my body is physically tired, but my mind is not. So that's the problem. Anyway, now that I've been rambling for six minutes, I'm gonna go take a shower as I said and I will update you after. Do I have homework to do? Yes. Am I gonna do it? No. And just like that we're back but we're showered and uh, took my makeup off. So I'm about to call it a night. I'm not drinking this um, soda right now if you're wondering. No I'm not drinking this soda. I'm gonna go put it in the fridge but I'm gonna call it a night. I'm tired. And I, that's not good lighting. I'm tired and I need to import this footage into my computer so I can edit it hopefully tomorrow night when I get home from class. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Of course, give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you aren't and I'll see you again in the next video. Whoops. And Peach is back there. There was no Peach in this vlog. I need to show her. And if you're wondering, Jesse is still at work, which is why she's not out here hogging the computer desk. So, that's all. That's really all. Now I'm really going. Oh.